Why? Why you and not me? You were the best of us. A paragon of virtue. I could never hope to be your equal. I am only the knight I am because of you. Because you believed in me! Your legacy to me! You will never die. This I swear. Through me your name shall live on as the hero who saves the world. We've been released from the memory, twould seem. If Golbez was the one sealed in this memoria, then the one we've been fighting is... No more than an imposter playing at hero. Durante, I presume. A name long since lost to time. History shall remember only Golbez. Come what may, I shall deliver the world its salvation 
and I will not suffer you to interfere. You seek to free all souls from the purgatory of undeath. And to that end, you would invade another world. While I cannot condone your methods, I understand your motive full well. For I'm driven by the same. I too wish to save our world. I too once thought I had to bear the burden by myself. That I had no choice but to walk my path alone. But I was wrong. We may yet strive together towards our shared goal. If you would reconsider your course. If you possessed power which transcended that of Zeromus, then perhaps I would. But you do not. No, you are but another Voitsant like me. And what is a candle before the sun? Perhaps we aren't all powerful, and cannot effect great change in an instant. Even so... Great change is what we need. Aught less has no meaning. Having glimpsed our past, you should understand as well as any. As Golbez, I dedicated myself to ending the Contra Memoria. I fought the corrupted Memoriates and attempted to redeem those twisted by their power. Yet try as I might, I was powerless to make any meaningful change. Twas then, when I was floundering in despair, that she appeared. The Asian Igeom. Claiming to know how to excise the source of our woes, she showed me to the moon, where the servant of light abided. Twas he and his ilk who had granted men unnatural powers, she said and now prolonged the war. Believing her every word, I struck him down and caused darkness to engulf the world. Then it was you who... As Emmett Selk once told us, the 13th was the Asians' first attempt at a rejoining, before they fully understood the mechanisms at play. They failed because they sought only to awaken the Sundered Zodiac without instigating a calamity in the Source. The darkness they unleashed had nowhere else to go. Having left a ruin of our world, the Asian fled. I was a fool to trust them, to trust in others. Since that day, I have sought the means to undo my mistake. 
The world may be beyond saving, but I would at least restore the great flow. The dragon was an extraordinary windfall, a veritable font of ether that expedited my endeavors time and again. But it wasn't enough to achieve my objective. Far from it. For an eternity, I had to bide my time. But the day finally came when I acquired the power I sought. I... The remnants of the Asians' god sealed within the moon suddenly dispersed into ether. With that ether, Zeromus could be conceived, and driven by the dragon's longing for home, it shall soon arise to destroy the barrier between worlds. Thus will the way open to the promised land and the death we have been too long denied. Thus will I, Golbez, bring salvation to all. So that is all you have left. Say what you will. You cannot stop Zeromus' awakening. Going after him, aren't we? Aye. That's why we came, after all. And besides... When someone believes in you, it makes you want to believe in them. In others and yourself. Eulis was right about that. Wound 
wounded as I am, I knew that I would be hard-pressed to fight you on equal terms. And so I lured you to this place, where the advantage is mine. Archfiends live? Impossible. Scarmiglione and Barbariccia were sealed in memoria, while Cagnazzo and Rubicante died in the source. You're not wrong. They are not the true Archfiends, but shades born of their residual ether. If they are shades, then their strength will pale in comparison. Even should they fight as one, we may yet prevail. We'll tend to the Archfiends. Go and put an end to Zeromus. You'll do no such thing. Join you as soon as we can. Zeromus will awaken, and it shall devour any who come between it and its desire. Your companion is no exception. I wouldn't be so sure. Time and again, he has faced insurmountable odds. But no matter how hopeless things seemed, he's never given up the fight. So long as he has strength of will to forge on, then so too shall we. For we believe in him, and he believes in us. And together, our light can pierce blackest darkness.